You get the feeling that Robert Helene should have done more with his career, especially at the start of his career, around the time when he knocked out Sam Peter, where like hire a strength and conditioning coach and really stick with it. He might argue and say that he trains hard if I confronted him with that. But I've got a feeling he hasn't lived the life. I have this feeling. I've got him two down against uh, Contemporary at the moment. Tepper bustling in. Landing shots, overhand rights over the top. Hellenius came back into it. I think he did have potential. Hellenius, I really do. Waste of talent. Third round, booming right cross from Hellenius. And, and um, Tepper's nose must be broken. It must be broken. Blood splattered all over his face and, and stuff. Um, Hellenius got through with some more combinations. But I tell you what, man. Urka and Tepper is tough. Very, very tough guy. Tough and strong. We had a few Turkish boys in our school. And a couple of them were extremely physically strong. That's what I remember. And he, he, he took the shots and he was in trouble later on in the round. Some more right hands. And he was lucky the bell rang, to be honest with you. But he took them shots early on and was still coming forward. Helenius was fighting like he was scared he was going to gas out. Because his cardio is nowhere where it needs to be and never has been. But a good round for Helenius, nevertheless. Erkan, never a body beautiful, but looks like he needs some of the sweeties he was taking when he was knocking out the likes of David Price because he's built like an egg, or he looks like an egg. But he's obviously very strong and has natural endurance, even though he's not a body beautiful. Fourth, Tepper came back into it with some body shots, a lot of them sprayed low. Alanius behind the jab, he's slowing down, they're both slowing down to almost... Um, a crawl right now. And then this is on the back foot. The output. Not where it needs to be. Or he could have had Tepper out of there perhaps. But Tepper looks like he's fully recovered. And he's on the front foot. Pushing the fight. Fifth. Tepper's nose. Bleeding. Pretty badly again. And. Helenius was in charge of that round. He was in charge. Landed a good right cross and took one back himself. Like the difference in how they hold their guards is quite pronounced. Like Tepper is really high guard. All the way through high guard. Walk you down. Sometimes Helenius's left hand is down by his knee. Very loose limbed. Very relaxed. Tries to use his reflexes. He needs to get in better shape for that stuff. Tepper eating too many right hands, getting out of box now. The fact that Helenius is hardly getting hit and pressured with any consistency in his gassing is a sad indictment on his conditioning. We're in round seven now. Helenius turned a jab into a hook. Nice little move. Tepper doggedly trying to get back in it. He's getting out of box there. He holds back the occasional right hand. Just to remind Helenius that, yo, this is a fight. A lot of his swings are partially blocked and Helenius is riding a lot of the shots. I don't think the nose is broken. Looks like maybe a blood vessel in the nostril, in the left nostril. Might be injured. Tepper landed a decent uppercut on the inside in the seventh. He's looked unsteady for a lot of the fight. In the eighth round, he seemed to be doing a bit better. But Helenius was just biding his time and he threw a combination, two straight lifts, put Tepper down and out for the count. Counting out as he was laid out underneath the ropes. Eighth round KO for Robert Helenius over Irk and Tepper. In what looked like a dinner and boxing event in Germany. Won't send no tremors through the top ten. Heavyweights. But it keeps him alive. It keeps him alive. I don't know where Tepper goes from here. First time he's been knocked out. Journeyman status. I guess journeyman status. 
Maybe they could bring him in to test um, Nathan Gorman and Daniel Dubois and them kind of heavyweights at the stage they're at right now. <laughs>